Hey everyone, this is Shelly. I hope you all are doing fantastic and I'm sending you lots of love and healing energy today. I've been wanting to do a video for a while on how I'm feeling about marriage since my spiritual awakening and here it is. Actually the universe has been nudging me to do it too, so. Legal marriage, why are we still doing this? It has its roots in claiming women as personal property for taxation purposes. Then it kind of merged with the religious spiritual aspects of it, which began with Adam and Eve. So now we have this seemingly contradictory phenomenon of human beings trying to lavish unconditional love on each other in a union bound by legal contracts. In other words, people placing quote unquote con conditions on each other. What is wrong with this picture? Of course, I understand that most of us are simply programmed by tradition to get legally married. No matter how many divorces that we see happening around us, friends, family, we still trust this institution, which largely doesn't work. That's why I feel guided to bring you this message today. Our precious earth is ascending and we all are ascending right along with her. Just as we are all purging and releasing people, things, situations, etc., that no longer serves, serve us in our individual lives. We need to purge out these old, outdated, government-sanctioned institutions that do way more harm than good, collectively. First of all, those of us who are fully awakened know that the government is not our friend. It has no qualms whatsoever about harming its own citizens in the fulfillment of its evil agenda, which largely involves depopulating the earth, why in the world do we want the greedy tentacles of these dark entities in the midst of our personal relationships? A lot of people talk about the benefits. I'll just say this. The abundant blessings of the universe are eternal and ever-flowing. All we have to do is allow that energy to come to us by matching its high-frequency vibration. The government programs us to be stuck in a lack mentality, which in turn blocks our abundance. Everything in this 3D reality is a program. The news, the movies, TV, legal marriage. When two people truly love each other unconditionally, there is no ego. Only love because that's all there is. That's all that's real. Ego is based in fear and fear is illusion. It's all in our heads. Big Daddy government conditions us to be codependent to search for love and acceptance outside ourselves. Codependent people are driven by ego. That's why we have stalking, rape, murder, courtrooms. When the collective is consistently stuck in these third dimensional low vibrations, we are manifesting by default more events that match these vibrations. This is the matrix. Those of us who are twin flames are here to end this madness and shift the earth to a paradigm of the higher frequency template of fifth dimensional spiritual love. We incarnated into this lifetime to carry out this divine mission. So let's do this. I'm tired of seeing people suffering and struggling just to get through their day, hating their jobs, feeling trapped in their relationships or marriages, etc. Happiness and fulfillment are our God-given rights, no matter what we have been taught. And by the way, I'm not asking anyone to burn their marriage licenses, but definitely feel free to do it if you really want to stick it to big daddy government. You are married in the eyes of God. You don't need government approval. Marriage is merely a profitable biz business to them. So is divorce. Anything to get your hard-earned money and to keep you stuck at a low vibration. Game over, big daddy government. Game over. Because people are awakening now in massive numbers. Anyways, I have every intention of marrying my twin flame in this physical realm. I've already picked out my wedding dress. Haven't bought it yet, but... <laughs> but rest assured, we won't be signing any frickin' contract and taining our sacred union. And oh, such a liberating feeling. And isn't that what unconditional love is all about? Freedom. Freedom to be your authentic self. Nothing the government claims to offer you can compare. Period. 
So I hope you enjoyed this message. I know it's not the most popular opinion out there, but I had to get my feelings about this subject out to the masses with the hope it inspires at least one person to think a bit differently. It's the only way positive change can happen. The only way. So I love you bunches, and thank you so much for listening and supporting my channel. Brightest blessings, everyone. Bye.